Hello Internet, I am Mihai. In this video I will create the first pipeline stage. Open your favorite IDE, mine is IntelliJ. In the Jenkins Files folder, create a new file. deploy appjenkins file. Add it to the Git. And now create the pipeline body. Write pipeline. Good. Write agent any. It will tell the pipeline to execute on any agent. Write a new line, save the file, and it's perfect. Now create the options block. I want to fill the block. Go to Jenkins and open the Hello World pipeline. Go to pipeline syntax. Select Declarative Directive Generator. Select Options. Add Timeout. Click on Filter and search for Timeout. Make the pipeline to interrupt after 5 minutes of inactivity. So I write 5. I select the unit minutes. And I select Timeout after inactivity. It means if the pipeline doesn't produce any logs during the five minutes, it will be interrupted. Click Generate. One more thing, I want to explicitly select minutes unit. For that, I select seconds, generate again, copy the timeout command, pass it into the Jenkins file, and now instead of seconds, I write minutes. New line, save the file. Now I want the pipeline to skip the default checkout. Go to Jenkins, delete the timeout, and add the skip default checkout. Select true, and click generate. Copy the command, pass it into Jenkins, I will add parentheses, I just like it more. Save the file. OK. Skip default checkout means Jenkins will not clone the pipeline repository. So the Hello World Jenkins file will not be cloned from the repository. Options block is ready. Very good. Now I want to create the post block. Go to Jenkins. Instead of options, select post. Select Always, click Generate, and copy the block. Paste it into the Jenkins file, and add script. Save the file, go to Jenkins, select Snippet Generator, search for Clean Workspace, Click Generate. Copy the command and pass it into Jenkins file. Alright, after the pipeline finishes its work, it will delete all working files from the disk. Nice, you did a great job. Let's continue. Create the first stage. Write Stages. Write Stage. Set the name init. Create options and put the timeout into options. Copy it from the line 5 and pass it in the options in the stage. Delete activity true. It means the stage will be interrupted after 5 minutes, no matter it generates logs or not. I'm not sure about 5 minutes now, so I will put here question marks. Later I will replace it with a normal value. Write steps. Inside steps, write script. Good, good. Skeleton is ready. Remember, I cleaned the workspace in the post section. Here. 
Anyway, it is a risk that some files can remain on the disk. Better anticipate it and clean the workspace one more time. Nothing bad will happen. So, I write the comment that I will clean the workspace. New line. And now clean the workspace. The pipeline is going to deploy a Node.js application. It means it will download Node modules. Node modules may contain hundreds of files, so I better put the stage timeout for 5 minutes. Perfect. I want to run the pipeline. Go to Jenkins. Go to Dashboard. New item. The name is Node.js. Backend. Dash up. Select folder and create. Nice. Click save and create the pipeline. New item. Write the name Node.js dash backend underscore deploy. This name, Node.js backend, it is the repository name. I will show you. Go to GitHub. And it is this name. I can check it. You see, I searched for Node.js backend and it found Node.js backend. Go back to Jenkins. I select pipeline and click OK. Select discard old builds. Click advanced. Days to keep builds, write 30. Max number 100, days to keep artifacts 10, and max number of builds to keep artifacts 15. Apply. Scroll down. Do not allow concurrent builds. Do not allow the pipeline to resume if the connector restarts. Scroll down. Select to fetch the script from source code SCM. Select Git. Now go to GitHub. Go to your pipeline repository. And copy the HTTPS URL. Go to Jenkins. Pass the URL. No need to select credentials because the repository is public. Select the branch main, scroll down. For script path, I go to IntelliJ. I right click on the Jenkins file. I click on copy path and I copy the path from repository root. Go to Jenkins and pass the path. It is the path to my Jenkins file. I select lightweight checkout and save. The pipeline is ready. You can check it from the folder view. Go to your folder. It is the pipeline. Open the pipeline. Go back to IntelliJ. Add your file to the stage. Click on commit tab. Check the file changes. I just see I added the code to the file and it is a new file. Close the changes. Add the file to the stage and write the commit message. Create it. Deploy up Jenkins file. New line. Initiate pipeline. Commit. Commit anyway. The file was committed. Now open the terminal. For that, I go to the folder where my pipeline repository is stored. I right click, I select to open terminal here, and I write git push. Very good. Now the code is on the repository. Go to Jenkins, select build now, and wait 3 seconds. Alright, the pipeline finished its work. Let's check the logs. Click on the green circle. And here are the logs. I see the code was obtained from the Jenkins file. And here is the link to the Git repository. 
I see the global timeout is five minutes of inactivity. I see the pipeline entered the init stage. I see the pipeline set the timeout for five minutes. I see the pipeline cleaned the workspace. Now I see the pipeline entered post actions. And I see the pipeline to clean workspace again in the post actions. And the pipeline status is success. I want to show you one more thing. Go to pipeline dashboard. See here, there are no changes. The run has no changes because we selected it in the code to skip the default checkout. See it here? If I remove it, the pipeline will show the number of changes in the Jenkins file repository. But I don't want it. I don't want the pipeline to count the changes in the Jenkins file, so I skipped the default checkout. Now you have the pipeline first stage. But it is not all. In the next episode, I will continue the init stage. Thank you for watching.